Hi, my name is Kim Goldtom, and I'm a certified master wellness coach through the International Association of Wellness Professionals, as well as the founder of the Empowered Living for Superwoman program. And I'm excited to be here with you today. We are going to cook this spaghetti squash in under seven minutes in the Instant Pot. And you're, I think you're going to love this. This is a very easy uh, squash to find, um, and it makes a fantastic meal. You can do so much with spaghetti squash. So, you might be asking, so what are we going to do? How does this fit in there? Well, first of all, we got to cut this thing in half. So I like to take my knife, take it right here, and you'll notice this is tricky. And I just kind of wiggle it around. You have to be careful. Okay, so you got to really put some arm strength into it. So now I've got my spaghetti squash cut in half. And of course, I don't want to have all the seeds inside the Instant Pot. So here's what I'm going to do. And here's one of the reasons why I love putting it in the Instant Pot. Well, I can stick it in there for seven minutes, and I don't have to think about it. I can work on anything else that I want to work on. Um, if I were cooking this in the oven, I, it would take um, 45 minutes to an hour, depending upon how many pounds your spaghetti squash is. This particular spaghetti squash that I bought, I weighed, and it is actually three pounds. So just a little bit over uh, two minutes per pound. So I've got uh, that side all scraped out. Okay, and now I have this one all scraped out. So the next step I like to do is I have one of these. This came with my Instant Pot, and so I, it's only about half an inch high. But this prevents, when I go to put this in there, from hitting all the way at the bottom. Because I do want to put in at least one cup of water to create steam. Because again, remember, a Instant Pot is a pressure cooker. Right? At least I'm using it for that feature. It can have a lot of different features too, saute and so on. So I'm sticking this in here. Have my lid ready to go. Super excited. I have it locked. Now the little pressure valve, you can't really see that from that angle. But I'm putting it into sealing mode. We will vent it once it's done cooking. And I got this cute little attachment. That way you can kind of control where you want it to vent when it when that time comes. Plus, I just like it because it's a lot easier to handle. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. I'm going to rotate this just a moment so I can see it. But I'm going to, first of all, I have to plug it in. I was waiting to do that when you guys were here. Okay. So then I just go to the pressure button, manual. And I'm going to take it all the way down to 7. So actually, you can just hit manual. You don't have to hit pressure. Okay. It's on 7. So we're going to wait. And uh, as soon as this is done, we'll be back. Talk with you soon. Hi. Well, welcome back. We are all set and ready to go. I'm just going to take my little pot holder just to make sure that the pressure valve has completely vented. A lot of times it naturally vents, but I did start it off in the sealed position. Oh, yep, it is all good. Okay, so you always want to make sure that that is completely vented before you open it because you don't want to burn yourself. So now we're going to go ahead and open this. Yay! Oh, it smells great. I know. I feel like we should have that ability for you to smell. <laughs> So I'm going to use my tongs to pull this guy out, and then I use a pot holder, a clean pot holder. So I hold the spaghetti squash with my pot holder, 
And you can choose whatever you like. I like a glass bowl, and I love this spoon, and so I just pull it out. So that's all you have to do. And then you just keep on going, and there will be your spaghetti squash. So just to kind of give you a, an idea of what that looks like. Um, isn't that amazing? <laughs> and of course I have that half to finish doing, and then I have another half. And all those seeds that I had collected earlier, I can separate uh, from the pumpkin squash, I mean the spaghetti squash, and I can go ahead and toast those seeds the same way you toast or roast or bake uh, pumpkin seeds. And once the spaghetti uh, squash is done like it is now, all you have to do is add a sauce. So you can add your traditional spaghetti sauce, you could do a pesto sauce, you could have an alfredo sauce, you could have, you know, side uh, dishes to go with it. Sky's the limit. But that is all you have to do for spaghetti squash. And this is full of B vitamins, niacin, thiamine, uh, calcium. This is just a power packed vegetable. <laughs> and one of the things that I love about this is you can buy this at the grocery store. It's usually under $5. This is probably going to, this particular spaghetti squash that um, is three pounds will probably feed, um, have seven servings. So that's huge. And not to mention, um, prior to it being cooked, it like it can last. It's like sweet potatoes. It it lasts for months. So it's a great uh, vegetable to have on hand in the event uh, you're not sure if you're going to need something or if you're stocking up a little bit for a few weeks. Uh, spaghetti squash is a uh, vitamin packed and super easy to to cook, as you saw, and um, is a great staple to that will stay fresh as well. So thank you for joining me. Have a super fantastic rest of your day and look forward to hearing how your spaghetti squash recipes evolve. Thank you.